Greetings fellow viewers and welcome back to Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Final Fantasy 7 event, Glimmer of Hope has been updated with some returning relics, let's take a look at what we can obtain. So first up we have got the Oversoul, it's a fist, attack, fist weapon, attack 128 plus 1 augmented accuracy 95, changes teeth of soul break to burst soul break meteor crusher. Deal 8 physical earth attacks to one target, grant a haste and burst mode to the user and temporarily infuse the user with the power of earth. Mastery bonus plus 10 attack. Burst abilities are Falcon's Dive for Monk. Deal 2 physical earth attack. Earth and non elemental attacks to all targets. Elbow smash type Monk. Deal 4 physical earth and non elemental attacks to one target. Yeah, pretty generic. Uh, infuse earth, obviously. So, nothing too special there. Here we go again, the Mass Immune Shinuchi. It's a katana weapon. Attack 127 plus 1 augmented accuracy 95. Changes Sephiroth Soul Break to Burst Soul Break Reunion. Deal 4 physical attacks to all targets and grant haste and burst mode to the user. Mastery bonus plus 10 attack. Burst abilities are Despair type combat. Deal 2 physical attacks to one target ignoring its defense. Perdition's Flame type combat, deal 4 physical fire and non elemental attacks to one target. Again, pretty generic burst soul break pure damage ability with an added uh, resistance uh, ignoring defense there. A uh, short barrel, it's a gun, I think this is a new one. Yeah, I think this is a new one. Attack 81, magic 126 plus 1 augmented, accuracy 95, changes Vincent's soul break and it's a ranged weapon. To super soul break bestial roar, deal 8 magic fire attacks to one target and temporarily infuse the user with the power of fire. Mastery bonus plus 10 magic, you can see a theme going here. Again, nothing special, and fire, pretty much speaks for itself. Barra Braces, I think this is new as well. Seems that way. It's a Bracer, attack 26, magic 18, defense 92, resistance 88 plus 1, augmented evasion 105, mine 19. Nice array of stats there for a piece of armor. Changes back, soul break 2, super soul break, Erngar Max. One of his limit breaks. Deal ranged physical damage to 10 random targets and temporarily lower their attack and defense a large amount. Mastery bonus plus 10 attack. So not bad for a support character. Attack and defense a large amount is very good. So yeah, pretty good. This makes a return though. The green megaphone, it's an instrument weapon. Attack 81, magic 105, accuracy 95, mine 120 plus 1 augmented. Changes Kate's soul break and it's a ranged weapon to super soul break Moogle Dance. Temporarily lower the attack, magic defense and resistance of all enemies a large amount and grant major region to all allies. Mastery bonus plus 10 mind, so pretty strange style of soul break here for a white mage character. I suppose he's a bit of support character as well. But this is a full break. So, and with an added bonus to for a major region, so yeah, pretty good. No damage, obviously, just a full break. Uh, makes a return the light rod. Obviously, it's a rod weapon, attack 88, magic 117, plus 1 augmented, accuracy 95. Changes Reynolds soul break, and it's a super soul break, Turk bombshell, deal 3, magic non elemental attacks to all targets, with a high chance to si silence and sleep them. Mastery bonus plus 10 magic. So yeah, bit of a iffy thing with these stasis effects. Not really useful against bosses unless they have a certain non-resistance to them. So yeah, probably not a great one. And the partisan making a return. It's a spear weapon, attack 126 plus 1 augmented, accuracy 95, changes six soul break to unique soul break dragon. Deal 4 ranged physical wind attacks to one target and temporary lower its wind resistance. So you got an imperil wind there. Nothing too special. So would I draw on this banner? Um, 
maybe not really for these two. That's alright. That's pretty good. That's awesome. Maybe not for Light Rod. Maybe not for the Partition. But as always, we got the always one or more five star or higher for times 11 draw. Still 50 mithril. But we got the uh, lucky dungeon draw coming out sometime this week, so hopefully that'll be half price for 25 mithril. So save your mithril for that. Or if not, definitely still draw on the overstrike one for your chance of getting the awesome st six star Ragnarok or the awesome burst soul break wizard rod. I love this burst soul break. Uh, one final thing I want to mention which could possibly be coming out in the next couple of days we have got in the hall of rights memory crystal 3 load so this could be a preview of what's to come. As you can see here we've got all the heroes from the main core series. Warrior of Light, Firion, Lunas, Cecil, Bart's Terra, Cloud, Squall, Zidane, Tidus, Shin, Toto, Van, Lightning, Yustola, Ramza and Tyro. And these raise level caps to... 99! So even more level goodness. So hopefully we'll be getting those soon. And also if you have another look in Sid's me missions, normal missions, it says raise a hero to level 99. So hopefully looking forward to that update pretty soon. Should be coming out tomorrow. Sometime this week anyway. But that's going to do it for this uh, video for a look of the... Uh, Banner 2 for Final Fantasy 7 event Glimmer of Hope Remember if you like this video to like and to comment if you want to And I will ask you to subscribe if you just want more gaming goodness in general Final Fantasy gaming goodness guys And as always I will see you in the next episode